Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. It's the beginning of a new month, which means that it's time for my monthly top shelf video, where I show you which fragrances I was reaching for the most in the past month, and also which were my most complimented scents in the month of July. The month of July is in the middle of summer, at least where I live. So in this video, you're going to see quite a lot of uh, freshies and blue fragrances. And the first, first fragrance that saw quite a lot of usage from me in July was the Nautica Voyage. Of course, this is a very famous uh, cheapie in the community. I got this fragrance a few months ago, but I was wearing for waiting for a uh, the hot weather to arrive before I started actually using this fragrance. And so far, it's proven to be an alright fragrance. Nothing special, you know, marine, fresh, slightly salty, great for hot weather. I was mainly using the Nautica Voyage uh, in the morning uh, before going to the beach with my family. Oh, you know, it's a nice little fragrance with an um, about average performance, which is probably the biggest drawback of this one. But uh, if you're looking for something cheaper for hot weather, then uh, Nautica Voyage deserves a chance. I was going on, on and off uh, between the next two fragrances, uh, which are trying to do pretty much the same thing with uh, some slight differences. The first one is from uh, the House of Art Alzafran. It's called the Jazz Art Silver. This is a super cheap, super afford affordable clone of uh, Aqua Di Gio. Profumo, really nicely done. Uh, in fact, it sits somewhere in between the original Aqua Di Gio and Profumo. It lacks a bit of that uh, incense, uh, strong incense note uh, from the uh, Profumo, but it also feels a little bit more serious compared to the original Aqua Di Gio. Performance here again is about average, but price tag is super low. It costs less than $20. In fact, you'll probably uh, you can find this one for around $15 for 100 milliliters with an average performance that will get you close to Aqua Di Gio and Aqua Di Gio Profumo. And I think this is a great deal. Another fragrance that's uh, very close to this one and close to the Aqua Di Gio family is, of course, Perry Ellis 360. Um, this one, closer to the original Aqua Di Gio performance here, is quite good. I've been really surprised by the uh, performance of this fragrance. It goes seven to eight hours on my skin at least which uh, uh, for a, a cheapy uh, sort of uh, an aquatic uh, marine type of a scent is I think great performance price tag is great if you can find this one on these counters and I've been really enjoying the uh, Perry Ellis 360 red. Another fragrance that was new to me in the month of July that I started using was is a fragrance that's seen quite a lot of hype uh, lately uh, and being presented as an alternative to Invictus Aqua and Rasasi Hawas from Latafa, the Latafa Najdia. Now, this is a fragrance that uh, I have to admit gets close to uh, both Rosasi Hawas and Invictus Aqua. It's that uh, sweet bubble gummy type of uh, fragrance that's mixed in with some marine no notes, some sweetness, some uh, um, saltiness uh, that adds a bit of freshness to the whole scent profile. And all in all, all in all, I've been really enjoying the actual scent of this fragrance. But one thing that I've been really disappointed, at least so far from my testing, has been the performance. Some people have reported this to being quite a strong performer, but in my experience, at least so far, this has been sort of an, uh, an average performer. I get about five to six hours of the, uh, from this fragrance on my skin, at least so far. Uh, the good thing is the price tag. This is super cheap, about $20. The bad thing, as I said, is the performance. Now, I'll let this uh, sit and macerate for a while and check out uh, the performance uh, before doing my full review. But so far, at least scent-wise and price-wise, the Latafa Najdeh, has been a um, interesting offering from Latafa. Another fragrance that I've really been reaching for quite a lot in the past few months, including the month of July, is be, has been from the House of Ajmal, the Evoke Midnight Edition. Now, this I cannot stop praising this fragrance because it's a really, really interesting fragrance, very unique scent profile, not a clone of anything, an original Ajmal creation. It's fruity, it's um, sweet. It's um, spicy, slightly oody, slightly musky at the same time. Very interesting scent profile. And another thing that I've really, really enjoyed about this fragrance has been the performance. This is a really strong performer. Easily eight, uh, not eight, easily nine, 10, 11 hours on skin with very strong projection and also brings quite a lot of compliments. So um, if you're looking for an interesting blue fragrance, cheap fragrance that's not a clone of anything uh, then definitely check out the evoke midnight edition from ajmal another fragrance that i've been really enjoying in the past few months including the month of july has been from the house of afnan the afnan tribute 
but also us in some places it's marketed as Afnan Tribute Blue. A really unique, super interesting fragrance. I cannot stop praising this one as well. Very unique scent profile. It's woody, it's spicy, it's uh, musky at the same time, slightly sweet, you know, ambery. Really, really interesting scent profile. And uh, in fact, I'm wearing this uh, today as well as uh, I'm recording this video. Very good performance, uh, bordering beast line performance, uh, a very good projection, super versatile fragrance that can work all year round. Also brings a lot of compliments and in fact I'm going to talk about this fragrance in the next section of this video. All in all, a fantastic fragrance and uh, really if you're looking for something woody, spicy, ambery, musky, something unique with good performance then definitely check out the Afnan Tribute Blue. And in the second part of this video, I'm going to talk about which were my most complimented scents in July. And again, I'm going to show you the same fragrance from the House of Afnan, the uh, Afnan Tribute Blue. As I said, it's a very unique and interesting scent profile, highly versatile, but also for some reason picks up a lot of compliments. This also kind of reminds me of Bois Imperial from Essential Perfumes, which is also a very unique and uh, interesting fragrance with a super versatile scent profile that also picks up on uh, sort of an unexpected amount of compliments. So one of my three most complimented scents in July was Tribute from Afnan, Tribute Blue. The next fragrance that I'm going to show you in this part of the video it probably won't be a surprise. It's called the Missoni Per Own EDP. Now this of course is a fragrance that's very often been compared to Blue de Chanel EDP and some people are even calling this one a clone of Blue de Chanel EDP. In my mind this is not a clone, This is a, although this is a fragrance that's been heavily inspired by uh, Blue de Chanel for sure. The opening especially is quite close to the EDP. The dry down goes in a slightly different direction but uh, all you know this carries a very similar uh, scent DNA as with the Blue de Chanel. And no wonder that the, this picks up uh, a lot of compliments. Uh, it's super versatile. The only problem that I have with the Missoni uh, Pour Homme is the fact that it lacks a little bit on the perform performance side. Although, uh, or to be more accurate, it lacks some of that projection. But uh, all in all, this, is, this brought me quite a few compliments uh, in the month of July. And the last fragrance in the most complimented section of this video is going to be from Zerjov Naxos. Now, uh, Usually this is not considered as a fragrance that uh, is supposed to be worn in uh, summer but uh, there were quite a few breezy nights uh, this past month uh, of July so uh, I sneak uh, two, two wearings out of this fragrance. The first one was sort of a special occasion. My girlfriend's uh, mother was celebrating her birthday. We were on a boat with we quite a few people so I decided that uh, we were out in open sea. So I decided that uh, it would be, because it would be cold and breezy, uh, I could sneak up on wearing of Naxos and I picked up a lot of compliments. There were about uh, 35 guests um, uh, on that birthday party and pretty much uh, half of those people complimented me on my sense and were asking me what I'm wearing. The other occasion that I wore the Naxos was uh, when we had a uh, dinner out with my uh, girlfriend, my son and a few of our friends. We were seated at a table in a restaurant and uh, the people that were seated next to the uh, on the next table the, the the woman there was also wearing naxos i immediately picked up uh, the scent of, of this fragrance but she it turns out that she also picked up um, me wearing naxos so she gave me a compliment i gave her a compliment also the people that were with her on her table gave me some compliments and uh, all in all i wore naxos only twice last month and i picked up a lot of compliments so this was all for today's video i hope that you liked it or found it interesting if you did give it a thumbs up also if you enjoying my work please consider subscribing to my channel because that will mean a lot to me stay safe and i'm going to see you in my next video bye bye